Our economy is up to almost almost a thousand ducats a month. We could take economic hegemon as soon as we pass that pass that threshold. But uh, I think what I'd la rather do is like we were talking about before is uh, invest ourselves into a stronger military and take military hegemon. So as you can see here, economic hegemon gives um, or exhaustion, spy detection, man mercenary manpower, but it gives you 25% goods produced, merc discipline and minimum autonomy and territory. So it basically allows you to snowball as a military hegemon. This one, however, will give monthly war exhaustion, land attrition, movement speed, siege ability. See, military is so good, but economic is so good for just like winning more. And I really do think we're going to have to do it, but I don't know. I am absolutely a slave to economic hegemon. I love it. I do it every time. All right. So there's no trade. There's no trade over here. All right. Let's um, continue coring up stuff that is not uh, necessary. So trade company you. Yeah, we got trade companies over here. Not here, though. Not here, not here. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm trying to state up everything that I can that's going to lower my autonomy. There we go. That's going to help us make even more money. And uh, with that, I bet we're over a million. Over a th Yes, we can. Very good. A million. I said a million. I meant a thousand. All right. We got some rebels popping as well. Where? Nuh-uh. Don't think so, baby. So let's get these guys steering from over here. It's going to help us out with our economy quite a bit. Pour you up. And uh, I'm going to hold off on taking it until we are stable over a thousand. As this goes down, we'll be able to get that next mission. Where's it at? Right here. And then that will allow us to get this one soon. Well, Steam Factory, we're not going to be able to get. So what was the one that gives us an extra admin mana or an extra admin tech? Right here. We can do that. Yep, we literally just need to dev up one province. Up to 30 dev. One extra province. Like this one's good. We should do it in like a, a good province. So like this guy here. There you go. And, uh... We have to do this one first, though. Sadly, yeah, we're stuck with a few of them. So, yes, I plan to pro proclaim the hegemony, hegemony but uh, we need to get a couple of these guys sorted out first. So add those. This guy's getting converted right now. This guy's been converted. Tehran has been converted. We are at war with the French. I forgot about that. So we should probably handle them, right? You guys ever declare war on France and forget about it? Happens to the best of us. So let's have you guys transferred from over there. So basically, I'm monkey. We need to get over here and uh, stack wipe their armies. There we go. We uh, successfully mission accomplished there. There you go. Get those guys out of there. Take that fort back. So Aragon declared independence by the looks of it. How are we doing? Uh, I'm going to wait until we can get imperialism. Because imperialism is overpowered. Before we take any other... Uh, do any culture conversions or anything like that. Here we go. Get these guys killed off. I bet I could just destroyed like their whole army. Yep, they have 8,000 men left. So no big deal. Very nice. Very nice. Have these guys siege that down. Head over here to Leone, or however that's pronounced. I always get corrected on how to pronounce French things. But uh, it's just funny because people who speak French sound like they're talking with like marbles in their mouth to an American. So when I try to say it, they're like, well, actually, you're pronouncing it like, eh, and it's, oh, and I'm like, oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> it all sounds the same to me, sadly. I wish I was better at it than I am. All right. So there's that one. Interest per annum is nuts. It's like... Let's take a look at what our interest per annum is now. 2.5. That's crazy. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. All right. Uh, as soon as we finish up this war. So we just need to figure out what we want in this war. Um, I mean, I suppose we just shoot for clean borders, right? Take the fort. Something like that. That's good. That's totally good. 
We can actually take that because uh, we'll be able to do that. A little bit of aggressive expansion. I ain't worried about it. So Portugal's in the war, but he's on medium enthusiasm. Where's Portugal's capital? I'm curious. Oh, he's over here in these. Oh, he's got rebels on his capital. <laughs> uh, oh, they don't stand a chance. Oh, I love that. Yep. So then we just upgrade a bunch of these guys to make sure that we keep our uh, trade hegemony. And there you go. I know probably people are wondering why I haven't uh, started collecting in um, Genoa or uh, Venice. It's because it's just not going to... We will not get a good return on it. Almost guaranteed. I'd rather steer. Steering is 99% of the time the better way to do it. All right. Let's annex you. There you go. Let us yoink. 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 So much dev that we're yoinking as well. Look at that. That's crazy. Yoink and yoink. So it goes from 120% overextension to 95 I don't have enough admin to core at all, which is fine. It's, um, we'll figure that out in time and, uh, continue converting stuff. We might as well convert it if we can't core it, right? How are we looking on this? All right. We're consistently over it. So I'm going to proclaim economic hegemony, which will allow us to click, uh, this button up here, which will give us the glory of Rome. Which, uh, oh, it changes to the Roman Empire. Oh, we don't do it through decision. Okay. Um, okay. So become the new Roman becomes the new primary culture. All your own provinces will cease to be part of the Roman Empire. And we get, uh, this thing that needs a little bit of that here. Okay. Let me actually send a couple of things over to the mod author real quick. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right. And we're back. So I was just, uh, messaging big boss, hooking him up with a couple of things here. So we can form the Roman Empire, which gives us a bunch of bonuses. Average monarch lifespan, 25%. That's pretty cool. Um, or we don't. Can we form, restore the Roman Empire this way? We can. So I guess the question is, is, do we want to? Do we keep our mission tree? That's the issue. I don't want to lose my mission tree because I'm not done with it yet. We're going to try it out. It's, uh, oh, 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 oh. There we go. We are now the Roman Empire, apparently. Very cool. I, I assumed we had to do it through the uh, mission there. Okay, very good. And we keep our ideas. Okay. So it's literally just a tag switch. And culture switch, switch of course. Yeah, now, now we're Roman. And it's funny because we weren't con culture converting anything, so no big deal. And let's culture convert everything else over here. It all needs to be Roman. Look at that. We're no longer uh, Greek. We're Roman. Makes sense, right? And uh, not bad. Okay, cool. Well, that was unexpected. I did not think that was going to work the way it did. Hey, Wallachia is gifting us money. Thank you, Wallachia. Very cool. As soon as we finish this one. Oh, it renamed a bunch of provinces as well. Right, yes. Look at this dev over here. That's stupid. I'm not even trying. Like, that's the thing that's crazy. Is that is that is happening completely separate from any effort from me. I am not trying to do that. It's nuts. And as our economic hegemon will scale up, we'll get more goods produced over time. It goes up to 25% and our minimum autonomy and territories will go down, which will give us more, you know, force limit from our lands and stuff like that. So all of this will add up to be quite Im like important when it comes to um, all of that. So good stuff. And I'm very happy with that. Converting everything. And we should make sure we're coring up what we are done converting. And there you go. It's all done. Mill tech. Sure. Upgrade our infantry. So I, I don't have any claims on any of this stuff over here. Kind of funny. Usually you get claims on uh, France from missions, but uh, we did not. 
Okay, we need to get the nobility a little more loyal. So let's go with... Uh, right of Council is fine. That will make them trend up to be almost 60. The issue is, is that... I'm like... Struggling to get um, these guys. I'm getting Cossacks and Burgers and Clergy, but not um, not anything with the nobility. It's kind of annoying. All right. Yep. Let's uh, let's wait and take this next round of tech here. Obviously, we can do some mill dev though. Here you go. There you go. Easy peasy. Look at that. Not bad. Maximum manpower is 540,000. Spain has entered a coalition against us. That's unfortunate. Oh no, anyways. Let's have you guys head over here. Nope. Have you guys head over here with a new general eventually. Looks like we're going to attack their, their army here. Oh wow, they're, uh, they're dogpiling pretty hard. So that's annoying. No big deal. Have these guys group up with them. Get over here. You just need to siege these guys down. Very good. Lose some mana. I, I don't mind a whole lot about the mana. There you go. Killing off the navies. Because screw them. That's why. Very good. Win some sieges against Provence. So Provence, I think I will separate piece out for at least a couple provinces over here. That would be useful, right? I I didn't uh, co-belligerent them, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So Provence, how are you doing? 42. So yeah, should be pretty easy to get this peace deal that we're looking for. Might need to occupy a couple more provinces, but that's no big deal. Give these forts to Georgia. Give these forts to Georgia as well. And let's have these guys come over and kill off his armies. Because why not, you know? Yes. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. Oh yeah, we just killed off his entire army. Look at that. No army left. Easy peasy, right? Boom. This is my land now. I called dibs on it. And uh, just like that, these guys are gone. These guys are done now. Yep, that's it. Let's have these guys head over and uh, siege them down. Or, uh, ooh, or defense. Nice. I'll take that. We take those. Great projects can be built. There we go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, build ya. Very good, very good. National decisions. Obviously, we don't want to cancel the Suez. That would be dumb. Have you guys suppressed rebels over here? Probably only need one stack, which is plenty. There you go. And uh, all I want from him is to full annex him. Obviously, I don't want to give that province to Georgia. That would be really weird to have Georgia have a random province over here. 40%. We can do that. No problem. go those guys are gonna fight them a little bit of overextension apparently i missed that oopsies not anymore no big deal and then since it's all cored up now we can get it all fixed over there these guys are now full occupied easy enough go they already matched this template it's good you guys over here Put you guys over here and uh yeah that's all i want in this war and uh we'll get it we just need to sit on it and wait for a moment that's all continue coring everything and converting everything we got our missionary or our merchant our colonist so i'm just going to clean up these borders over here and uh hopefully we can fill in these these wastelands that would be nice make our make our name our font bigger which is how you win the game i'm pretty sure right world conquest of possible question mark question mark Provis sent that to me the other day. He said he said said that um, I should post a screenshot of our our um, 
collaboration campaign and say, do you guys think I could still do a world conquest? <laughs> I thought it was funny because we probably could realistically, but Spain, get out of here, man. Spain being annoying. Yeah, we just got to wait a few monthly ticks. We'll be able to get that. I'm losing all my Diplo mana. Very good. I'm going to wait for uh, this. Obviously, we're going to wait to take that to peace out. 10% admin efficiency is nuts. Gets us all the way up to 80%. So yeah, I messaged Big Boss about the Big Absolut Absolutist Roman Administrative Modifier, Biz. And uh, it, uh, he said that it's it's going to get fixed. Uh, it, it was fixed in this update. I just uh, basically he, he fixed it like today or <laughs> a couple of days ago. So no harm, no foul, though. Let's uh, continue investing in our buildings. So uh, go down to the bottom here and build the ones that are going to be the most impactful, usually down to like two or three. Um, build more roads. I like roads. I like turtles and roads. And, uh, right. These guys are good. Build a couple of those and then build a bunch of universities. Universities are just overpowered and they will make our life a lot easier. And just like that, not bad. So before we do this, we're going to wait for the yearly tick. Actually, I, I lied. I'm going to click it right now. That way I can take that tech. Look at that 80%. That is so cheap. And uh, that will allow us to core up all that, which is awesome for super cheap as well. And uh, we lose a stab for no reason. And then we boost our stab for super cheap because, you know, of course we do. So let's take a look here. Is this one worth upgrading? This is vanilla. Governing capacity. <laughs> Safe to say we're not going to have any governing capacity issues anymore. Let's use that guy to transfer. We can definitely upgrade it. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Oh. We have to accept Castilian culture. I can probably do that, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's do it. I know I need Diplotech, but it's fine. I'm not really bothered by these uh, being a little bit behind. We want Imperialism, though. So the governing capacity is nice. Let's take a look at what else we can get upgraded here. Those guys are upgraded. This guy, the extra merchant is nice. So let's upgrade you. Like we're making so much money. And then as we make more money from economic hegemon up ticking up, we'll make even more. Like we're going to literally, we'll, we'll make more money every month for the rest of the game. Basically is how that's going to work. That gives us an extra merchant. That we can use to um probably steer from here right that would probably be good that will take us from 541 down here nice so solid Let's get these guys out of here and come over here and we continue to convert everything that we are coring up of course so good, man. All right. Let's click this one. Nobility, please. Norway is the subject of the Roman Empire, huh? Is that them right here? They're an OPM. So I have to... <laughs> they own two provinces. One of them is right here. Okay. Whatever, man. I guess we're going to subjugate Norway little corny but it's all good man let's uh attack oh wait it'll accept a uh, diplovast so i don't have to even fight them that's good so let's have you guys go back to protecting trade well i guess we don't really need to protect trade over there anymore let's protect trade in ragusa let's go with protect trade in ragusa that will take us from 596 up to 611 my goodness all right, Norway, let's uh, improve relations with them. Yeah, they hate me. Actually, yeah, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's definitely not going to work. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to get them to be friendly enough for it. So let's detach the transports and have these guys brought down here. They have our ally to Kabu. No big deal. Hopefully we can get down there before they occupy that province. There we go. Very good. Get over here. Occupy that province ASAP. Very good. Get up here. Occupy this province ASAP. Probably don't even have an army, do they? 8k. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. That's their whole army. And they're dead. You guys over here. Not bad. Cool. I like bonuses for no reason. You get them for literally for free. Event-based bonuses. That was all skill, right? All luck, no skill. Or all skill, no luck. Here we go. You guys will become a vassal. There you go. That will finish that. Are we... Hey, we got our six. Very good. So that allows us to click this button, which gives yearly army tradition for 30 years, nobility, loyalty, some bonuses to uh, manpower uh, in uh, Kaliopolis. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then uh, enlightened education. Be ahead of time on Diplotech. Uh, we'll be able to get that very soon. And that will give us free policy, which gives us one free policy of every type. So that's three policies total for free. And reform progress to growth, which is fine. Then that allows us to click this one, which gives us an extra admin tech, which is cool. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Now I'm actually just going to, uh, like, break their vassalization as soon as I can. I don't actually want them. Do they have cores on all that? Yeah, they do. Maybe we attack Sweden. Yeah, we might as well do it, right? It's fine. I can get an extra missionary or a merchant from that as well, so... My vassals will handle a lot of it. Look at this. I bet they're looking big. Yep. 41,000, 45,000. Solid. Let's have these guys head over like here. And they'll get me mill access as well. So I can take a look here. They'll eventually, my vassals will get me mill access. We'll be able to just march up there. At least I hope they will. If not, I have, you know, I have an, a navy to bring up, but. Lose some diplomana. Be a little more behind on Diplo. No big deal. Here we go. Looking good over here. We're going to start getting this stuff all converted. So I bet he's got a crazy navy. Nope. Just kidding. He doesn't. Okay. So let's get our navy over here. What's his uh, army looking like? Oh my gosh. They have nothing. That's crazy. Let's upgrade our ships because of course. Yep, let them upgrade a bit. Bet we have a port over here, right? We do. Do we actually have... Um, global trade power. National sailors. Okay, so let's upgrade you. We're good with the manpower. I'm not worried about it. That would give us extra governing cap. And let's upgrade you. We'll actually use money for this one. Which gives us a little bit more. Where else are we at here? This one's already upgraded. Venetian Arsenal, which is trade. I don't have trade ideas. I thought I did. Oh, I don't have trade ideas. Interesting. I was uh, under the impression I did. Belgrad Fortress doesn't give us any benefits that we need. There's some's upgraded. Is this one worth upgrading? No. Mecca, no. Obelisk of Oxum. Coptic, huh? What does it give you? Tolerance. There's a bunch of them down here. Okay. Interesting. Great mosque. Yep, be religious. Religion. Yeah, these guys you gotta be. So the Leaning Tower of Pisa gives us advisor costs, so might as well do that one as well. I like advisor costs. There you go. And we get some innovativeness, diplo possible policies. So yeah, look at this. Uh, the free policies... Oh, that comes when we get this one. So we just got to be ahead of time on Diplotech. Which is coming very soon. Alright, do we have mail access from anybody? Nobody important. Okay, so we're just waiting on our navy to upgrade. We'll give them a few more months. These guys over here are ready to join 
Just kidding. This one is. And uh, use that there. Need to start investing in these trade, in these state guys here. These are super useful. It's here. There we go. This gives more goods produced, that's all. So 627 up to 635. So every month we're gaining more. So now take a look. We had a thousand when we proclaimed it. We were making an extra two thousand or two hundred and forty ducats a month than we were when we proclaimed it. It's uh, kind of impressive, right? <laughs> Give me that diplotech. We want some imperialism, right? How are we doing over here? Still re repairing. I think I'll give them one more month. All right, let's have you guys brought over here. We have lots of galleys, so we may actually just land right on his capital. Because their army is not going to be able to beat me. Even if... Yeah, we need to take this soon. Otherwise, we're going to get some naval attrition. There you go. Give it to Georgia, just so I don't have to deal with that. Uh, great project upgrade cost. No, it's fine. We're good. Look at these siege ticks. 14 days. Every, every 14 days, we can get a disease outbreak. All right, Georgia. So what is the war goal here? It is Agedison, which is where? Right here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. There you go. We can click this button now. Boom. And this one down here, we just have to be at peace. Every province with a courthouse will give us five reform progress, which is very solid. Uh, so we get an extra free policy here. Let's go with goods produce, of course. Wasn't there one that we needed five goods produce for? No. Okay. So for this one, we need 10 steam factories, which we need admin 24, which we will get for free in uh, just a moment whenever we are at peace again, which is really cool. Put these guys over here. Okay, give that back to Georgia. Have you guys force marched over here. Yep, easy enough. So, we're going to have him return all cores, not to Denmark, to Norway. Let's sort by that. And instead of... Uh, which one is this? Bratsburg. I am going to take Bratsburg for myself. Because if you don't know, Bratsburg gives you a free missionary. Which I like to have missionaries. So we're going to take that for ourselves here. Um, and in order to take it for yourself, you have to occupy it and have it in your control. There you go. And boom, just like that. So seeds that to the Roman Empire. The rest will all go to him. Um, yeah, I don't care about Denmark. So there you go. Uh, just like that. Norwegian Scandinavia. That's pretty good, right? We can click this button here, which will give us monthly admin power. And advances our admin tech. So we will go up to admin tech 24, which is really cool. I love the fact that you can do that through a mission. And then uh, we'll have to core that up. I'll keep my army here. Actually, before we core it up, we will upgrade it. There you go. Upgrade, upgrade it. And then we don't need the extra missionary, but I want it. I'm collecting missionaries. You'll make a fine addition to my collection. And then... Um, where we at here so for this one we need steam factories in 30 dev provinces but uh if you take a look over here you can see now steam factories become unlocked on admin tech 24 all we need is some um we have to embrace the enlightenment so that's gonna be a minute yeah the enlightenment is gonna spawn in nine years all right cool well that's a good episode i think hope you guys are enjoying if you are make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe ding the bell all that fun stuff and uh, check out the Discord, subreddit, Patreon, Twitter, anything like that, all linked in the description below. That's all I got for you for today. This is Jewish Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.